Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Bedtime Stories. So what we do, we'll be reading today, we'll choose a story and then we'll start. And thank you for joining me today. Now before we start, have we brushed our teeth? And are we comfortable in our pyjamas? Is that a yes? Then let's go. So last week I read to you Brown Bread and Honey and Do You Believe in Magic? I really enjoyed those stories and I hope you enjoyed them too. We could read them again or we could choose a different book. So today I thought we could read one of my um, children's favourite, Charlie and Lola. How about you? Do you like Charlie and Lola? Have you read this book before? If you have, put your hands up. Very good. So let's read Charlie and Lola. But excuse me, that is my book. Okay, are we ready? Let's get started. <clears throat> I have a little sister. Her name is Lola. She is small and very funny. Lola loves reading, but she really loves books. <clears throat> but at the moment, there is one book that is extra specially special. <clears throat> one day, Lola said, Charlie, Dad says he will take us to the library. And we must go right now and get beetles, bugs and butterflies. Lola loves beetles, bugs and butterflies. I say, but Dad took that book out for you last time and the time before that. Then Lola says, but Charlie, Beetles, Bugs and Butterflies is a very special book and I really need it now. Now, 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 now. Don't you know, Beetles, Bugs and Butterflies is the best book in the whole wide world. Do you think Beetle, Beetles, Bugs and Butterflies is the best book in the whole wide world? Lola thinks so. <clears throat> and Lola says, You see, Charlie, the bugs are quite buggy and the butterflies are really beautiful and the beetles are very silly. The beetles get stuck and his legs are very funny and he can't get down. I say, I know that Lola. Come on, Dad's waiting. All his funny little legs, says Charlie. Then we get to the library. We see Lotta. Lotta says, I am going to get beetles, bugs and butterflies because it is the very best book in the world and you learn a lot and it's very, very great and extremely very interesting and I really, really must get it. That's what Lotta says. <clears throat> When we get inside, I have to say, shh, Lola, it's a library. Remember not to shout. Lola says, but I can't find it. My book, Charlie. And Lotta says, maybe it's over here, Lola. And I say, why don't you try looking for it? All the books beginning with B. So 
So Lola says, B, 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 where is my book? Where can it be? Lotta says, I can't see it, Lola. It must be hiding. I say, you two stop shouting. Lola says, we are not shouting, Charlie. I say, shh. She says, we are shushing. It's not there. My book's not there. I say, Lola, be quiet. Lola says, but Charlie, my book is lost. It is completely not there. I say, Lola, remember this is a library, so someone must have borrowed it. <coughs> Lola says, but beetles, bugs and butterflies is my book. I say, but it's not your library. Someone else obviously wanted to read your book. Lola says, but they can't, it's my book. And she stands there very sad. So, I say, Lola, just think. There are hundreds and hundreds of other books in the library to choose from. There are spy books, dinosaur books, adventure books and scary books. Books about princesses, aeroplanes and astronauts. <clears throat> books about castles, dragons and volcanoes. And monsters, mountains, pixies, and books about Romans. <clears throat> I say, look, Romans. This one tells you all about history in the Roman times. Like how the Romans built long straight roads and rod triads and had fights with swords. But Lola says, too many big words, Charlie. My book has got pictures that I really like. So I say, okay, Lola, let's try to find a book with more pictures and less words. <clears throat> Lotta says, what is this? An NC Encyclo, I say, an encyclopedia. It's got millions of drawings and millions of facts. You can learn about everything. Look, this page is all about helicopters. <coughs> it's too loud, Charlie. I don't like encycloped these big books. You see, Charlie, I am very right. Beetles, Bugs and Butterflies is the best book ever. There they are in the helicopter. <coughs> I say, you might be right, Lola. But see what you think of it. It's a pop-up book. Lotta says, ooh, look at that. But Lola says, a book that has cherry blossom rain in it is nice, Charlie, but it's not funny. Then Lola says, beetles, bugs and butterflies is really funny and makes me laugh and laugh and laugh. I say, so it's an animal book you want. 
a book with lots of pictures, a story, no big words, and animals that make you laugh. Lola says, yep. I say, how about this one? Cheetahs and chimpanzees. <clears throat> Lola says, are there beetles, bugs and butterflies in it? I say, no. There are cheetahs, chimpanzees. Give it a try, Lola, please. Lola says, OK, Charlie, I will. But it won't be as good as... <clears throat> Beetles, bugs and butterflies. Oh no, look, that girl, that girl's got my book. I don't think she knows it's my book. No, no, just wait. That's my, that's my, just like my book, Charlie. Lola says, I want my book, Charlie. And I say, but you said you would try cheetahs and chimpanzees. Lola says, well, <clears throat> me and Lotta can try it, Charlie. But it won't be as good as beetles, bugs and butterflies. <clears throat> but then Lola says, Oh, look at that. The cheetahs are very fast. And Lotta and the chimpanzees are very cheeky, says Lotta. And Lola says, And in fact, you know what, Charlie? Let's have a look at the monkey. Is he the chimpanzee? He looks very funny, doesn't he? You know what, Charlie? Let's see what Charlie says. <clears throat> the, this book is probably the most best book in the whole wide world because it is so interesting and so lovely. And you know it has the absolutely best pictures of any book ever. And the baby chimps are very funny, said Lola. And that's the end of the story. Oh, I really enjoyed this book about Charlie and Lola. Doesn't Lola always have some interesting things she talks about? And her favourite book was Bugs, Beetles and Butterflies. What's your favourite book? Do you have one that you read every night? Or maybe you would like to read and has somebody else taken it? Maybe you could give it a try and read a different book like Lola and see if you find it interesting. Thank you so much for sitting so nicely and reading with me today. I have time to read you one more book and I've chosen The Best Gift of All. Let's get started. Do you want to have a little stretch while I'm opening the book up? The best gift of all. <clears throat> Hot diggity drat, said the mole, poking his head out the ground one morning. It's raining again. <clears throat> mole did not like going out in the rain. The only place to be in this weather is underground, he decided. But it had been raining all week and Mole was missing his friends, especially Rabbit. Mole hadn't seen her for days and he was beginning to worry about her. Where could she be, do you think? <clears throat> Dear Rabbit, sighed Mole, it would be so nice to see her. 
And then Mole had a wonderful idea. I don't need to go out in the rain to see Rabbit, Mole told himself. I can visit her by tunnel. And he began to dig. Dig, dig, dig. <clears throat> Squirrel had been collecting nuts beneath the shelter of the trees and was about to bury them. Squirrel dropped the nuts into a hole and then jumped back in no surprise. Ouch, 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 cried a voice from below. Squirrel peered down the hole and was astonished to see Mole peering back up, her, back up at her. Mole, said Squirrel, what are you doing? At the bottom of my hole. Squirrel laughed. Mole, what are you doing? At the top of my tunnel. Mole explained that he was going to see Rabbit. What a smashing idea, said Squirrel. Can I come too? Shall we have a look at Squirrel? So Squirrel is going to go with Rabbit, uh, sorry, with Mole to go and find Rabbit. <coughs> Hedgehog had found a heap of dry leaves and had just settled down for a nap when he felt something scrape his backside. What? The weevil, cried Hedgehog, jumping up again. Sorry, Hedgehog, said Mole, appearing out the ground. I came up to find a way around those roots. We're off to see Rabbit, cried Squirrel, popping her head out of the tunnel. We haven't seen her for days, said Mole. What a splendid idea, said Hedgehog. Can I come too? Okay. <clears throat> it was dark in the tunnel and neither Squirrel nor Hedgehog was used to being underground. All they could do was follow Mole. How can you tell where we are? asked Squirrel. How? Are you sure we're going the right way? asked Hedgehog. Don't worry, Mole assured them. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's digging tunnels. <clears throat> Rabbit lay in her burrow, feeling miserable. She had a terrible cold and was staying inside until the weather got better. But it had been raining all week and she was missing her friends, especially Mole. She was worried they might have forgotten about her. It's so lonely stuck, in my, stuck on my own. She thought it would be lovely if someone dropped in to see me. Poor rabbit, she's not feeling very well, is she? Just then, there, were, there was a scrabbling sound and a lump of earth fell from the burrowing ceiling. And before rabbit could take a closer look, there was a shower of soil and mould. Hedgehog and Squirrel dropped one after another into the burrow floor. Mole, Squirrel, Hedgehog, smiled Rabbit. I was just thinking how much I missed you all. When Mole, Squirrel and Hedgehog realised that Rabbit was poorly, they couldn't stop fussing over her. Squirrel went back down the tunnel and bought Rabbit some of her nuts to eat. The hedgehog fetched some of his dry leaves and to make a fresh bed. 
It wasn't long before Rabbit was feeling better and chatting happily. Only Mole looked unhappy. What's wrong, Mole? Rabbit asked. Everyone has bought something to make you feel better, explained Mole. <clears throat> Except me. And I've missed you the most. Oh, Mole, said Squirrel. You shouldn't feel bad. After all, it was your idea to visit and we would never have got here, <coughs> agreed Hedgehog, without your tunnel. And you did bring something or someone, said Rabbit. Mole grinned when he realised what Rabbit meant. I bought you your friends, he said. Yes, Rabbit, you bought me my friends and that's the best gift of all. Shall we have a look? What a wonderful story. And that's the end. So Mole felt really bad because he really wanted to see Rabbit. And when he got there, he realised she wasn't very well, was she? Squirrel bought a gift, but Mole felt so bad that he didn't get anything for her. But he actually did, didn't he? He realised at the end, the best gift that he got was all her friends. And I think sometimes when we're not feeling well and we feel a bit down, when we see our friends, we feel a little bit better, don't we? Do you feel better after you see your friends? Maybe when you're not feeling well and if you go to school or nursery and you see your friends, it makes you feel more happier. <clears throat> I know I feel happier when I see my friends. So that's the end of bedtime stories today. I hope you enjoyed reading with me and I hope you're all ready and cosy and all stretched, brushed your teeth and in your PJs and ready for bed. Have a good night. Salamu alaikum.